everyone, welcome back to class. My name is Kiri Calligan and you're watching Polaris' Show and Tell, the show where we get to sit down with some amazing creators, talk about highlights with their work, as well as some behind the scenes. I'm sitting with Zykron, who you may know for him, his hilarious storytelling, as well as his antics on Gary's Mod. Yeah, lots, lots of, lots of antics on Gary's, on Gary's Mod. mod. We, we like our Gary's Mod. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. how did you get your start on YouTube? Well, that's, an, that's an, actually a hard question to answer, I guess you could say. Um, I obviously, like most people before starting YouTube, decided, uh, not decided rather, I just got addicted to watching a lot of people. And this was back in the, the days of gaming when it was all Call of Duty stuff. Yes. So like back in like Call of Duty 4 became really huge and people thought, well, I can tell stories and sort of commentate over gameplay and stuff like that. Um, so I subscribed to a lot of those guys and thought, well, this actually looks like it might be fun to do. And I saw they were growing and then someone mentioned, you know, they, uh, they do that for a living, right? I was like, they really do they? <laughs> That's weird. How do they do that? And so I, w I would s like slowly start to look more into the behind the scenes stuff and ask people that did it, you know, like, how is it? Is it you know, a good job? Is it something fun? Do you enjoy doing it for the most part? Because I know that um, a lot of people working day to day, you know, they don't enjoy work. It's just sort of like it pays the bills. But everybody I, I asked and talked to really, really enjoyed it because it's a good job. So I thought, well, hey, I'm going to try it. Um, and eventually, it, it was a very, very slow start at first. Like, um, it took a lot of convincing, so to speak, for me to actually get going on it. Um, and then I watched some, mi like, Minecraft came around. Like, it had just started coming around, and I thought, okay, I know exactly what I want to do. And then I started making videos, like, with Minecraft-related stuff a lot. And that was, like, my freshman year of high school. So now I'm here um, and doing a more goofy version of Minecraft, so to speak, with <laughs> Gmod stuff yeah. all the time. So it's like I evolved into a different game. And now here I am, lots of goofy moments and memes later, I'm <laughs> sitting on this couch. So you're a recent transplant to the Los Angeles area, yes. like within, I think, the past few weeks. Something correct? like that. Less than maybe two weeks of actually being here, I yeah. think. <sighs> you see, not a lot of you may actually know this, but Breezy and I just moved down to California about five or so days ago. You know, you can count the days on my hand or by watch, either or. And so far, I, I do gotta say, it's very, very good. You know, it's nice, the weather is just great. But of course, in my regular fashion, I thought I would show you our apartment. And it's not completely done yet. Um, as a matter of fact, it's kind of the exact opposite of being done, but I figured I would just welcome you into our cute little home and show you how absolutely amazing this place is already. Ah, yeah, home sweet home. Boxes and, well, boxes is the best thing ever. Now we're gonna start off the grand tour over here in the kitchen. As you can see, we've got this lovely decorative pair of scissors on top of this, um, this rubber shit, whatever it is, as well as something every homeowner's or renter's need, a good old roll of duct tape. You see, this thing right here is gonna save your life. Having a heart attack? Duct tape. You need to get some dinner? Duct tape. Believe me, this shit will save your life more times than you can count. And of course, there's plenty of, uh, of coffee to go around. This is actually a reserve roast from downtown Disney called, um, uh, it's called something. It's pretty tasty, uh, I guess. And then, of course, up here on the fridge, we have all these word magnets and stuff that we use to write out inspirational shit to sort of, well, get us going for the day or make us feel better about life in general. For instance, uh, you've got, uh, what does that say? Reach the world. We believe in you. Uh, never surrender. Uh, give me a physical. And M become strong. Uh, whatever, fuck it. Kermit's here, all right? Look. <laughs> Keep a fucking streak. <laughs> now I know you want to see what kind of kick-ass shit we got inside this freezer here. Um, I, oh, oh right, I forgot. We actually put Little Breezy in here as a timeout because she was being a, a little bitch. Now, moving on from this boring ass space, we have the much more exciting dining table. You know, it, it's fantastic, absolutely beautiful. Our couch, which right now serves as a table of sorts. And then over here we have, um, uh, well, a lot of shit. And then, of course, uh, over, over here we actually have this really gorgeous lamp that we found at Ikea. I mean, look at that. It's just, I mean, the only thing about this one here, though, is it, it is made out of paper, so it's a little bit 
flimsy. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't light on fire or anything like that, but uh, I'm sure it'll be okay. So uh, let's move on to the balcony. Um, okay, all right, over here. All right, and uh, then let's go like that. And yeah, that's that's the whole balcony. And then you know whatever. There's there's that shit out there. All right, let's move on. Now, I know this is going to be your favorite room. It's everyone's favorite room. It's the room where people take shits and get naked, right? Yeah, the bathroom. Ooh, let's see, what other personal shit can I show you? Let's see here. I wonder if I'll find my social security number here that I could just let all of you see. Uh, let's see here. There's a, there's a light bulb up there. There's a bunch of blankets, of course. And, uh, and if you couldn't tell already, um, I'm just completely full of shit. And uh, none of this is real. Uh, life is a hologram and we're all going to die, life is meaningless. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire apartment. You know, the, the apartment in its entirety. So uh, yeah, incredibly underwhelming, right? <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, that concludes the tour. If you could please, um, please get, get the fuck out of my apartment. Get, get out. So you've got your, you've got your new place. Yes. And I know, I know you've talked a bit about that on your channel, mm -hmm. as well as you apparently do not have a very um, affectionate relationship with Ikea. No, no, not at all. Um, I. <laughs> I didn't believe that the rumors about Ikea were true, about um, it being really easy to get lost. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's until, a labyrinth. Until I went there, and the, even with the directions, like the arrows on the floor, all the signs and projections that tell you where to go, you still don't really know where to go. So the, the whole place is a sick joke. Because <laughs> you got to go there, like spend seven hours walking around finding a dining room table or something like this, and then you got to take it home, and you have to build every little thing yourself. Oh, this is from Ikea. Oh, boy, I tell you what. I am certainly looking forward to a super fun trip to Ikea today. Oh, I'm gonna get lost and die. Ah, oh, I just love the natural landscape and scenery of California. It's good stuff. Oh, hey look, an oil well. Wait, what? There is? Yeah. Right there. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Oh, what do you know? There is one right there. Oh, wow. That's, huh. so, that's so appealing to look at. Speaking that's of landscape. Just uncanny, yeah, <laughs> uncanny. We finally made it. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm willing to bet you money that I won't make it out of here alive. Not for the reasons you think, either. Yeah, yeah that's true. Get out of here, family. <laughs> People bringing their families to the store? What a bunch of a-holes. I know, right? Why would you bring your kids somewhere? Yeah, just dump them off at Grandma's house, make her do the watching. Home delivery, starting at the low, low price of your soul. You know, I never noticed it before, but my feet look weird. They look weird to you? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Or maybe I'm just saying random stuff in hopes that it'll make better content. I don't know, we'll find out later. Hold on, let me see here. Oh my gosh, 900. There's just a few pieces of chicken. Oh. Look at that right there. It's a wild waste of money in its natural habitat. My, my, my. Ugh. Let's see here. Oh wait, look at this. Let's take a read here. Let's see, Martha Stewart Living. Oh boy, I'd love to learn how to insider trade and kill people. Is this thing, is it zip? It is zip tied shut. It is, whatever. No, no, let's move on. New place, new place. Let me see something here. I always like going to Ikea and reading one of the many fantastic books that they have in stock here, like, um, let's see, Lush de Hachar Tiduga. Um, they've also got several copies of Bardo Geschlakamup and um, the hit national uh, New York Times bestseller, James Tidd's Bergenstein Psychotherapy, which, as you know, is a fan favorite of pretty much everyone. They're fantastic books. I would definitely recommend coming by and reading uh, all of them, so please do so. You see, now some of you may be wondering what we're doing at Ikea today. Well, contrary to popular belief, it is not to get lost in the many hallways of this crazy place. It's actually to find a nice fancy coffee table, some shelves, you know, your average middle-class white people stuff. That's what we're here to do today, and possibly eat some meatballs as well. Hmm. You've only got two high-end expensive ovens. <laughs> Peasants. <laughs> what a freaking rip-off. The jelly beans aren't even real. What even is in here? It's 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 nothing. You've we've been cheated. Hmm. Hey Brie, what do you think about this oven topper thingy? Brie? Oh shit. It's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. I'm okay. I'll find them eventually. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. All right, I still haven't found my group, and I need to sleep. All right, well, 
it's not set up for no reason. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, perfect. There we go. Ah. All right. I have found a safe spot. I have made this my home. Um, I am prepared to live here, um, at least for the next few years until I can find my way out. I've got teacups and survival supplies. Maybe put a, a cake inside there. I don't know. I'll update you as I go along. Okay. Update. I have moved. Um, a uh, Asian family came in, and uh, I decided to move home base to the nice little, little living room over here. Still plenty of survival supplies. I'm now hiding behind the plant, keeping an eye out, see if I can find the rest of my group. I have found my group, and now we are back to looking at things like chairs. So where are we going? Could this possibly be the way out of the store? Oh, oh, hey look, hey Bree. What do you think about these glasses right here, these martini glasses? Bree? Bree? Oh, God damn it! Hey guys, hey guys, look. I found a fag. <laughs> uh, why are you subscribed? Oh, thank goodness. We've finally come to the end of the show floor. And now we can finally... Oh, man. What the hell? Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we have procured the bookshelf. Now comes the next few items. This is everyone's favorite part of Ikea shopping. It's finding all of your crap. Ready? Let's go. Bree got distracted by another patio set and we're, we're, we're right there. We're so close. We're so close. Well, Breezy, I'd say we had a pretty efficient day at Ikea today. I'm filming instead of helping, so I'll move the flowers. There we go. Well, gang, I'd say it was a pretty productive day of Ikea shopping, and we're not even done with the day yet. Now we have to go home and do the fun part. We have to build everything. Oh, I want to stay here. Never mind. And you got shut. Nice. And now the journey home can begin. Just another normal day at Ikea. And then right after we moved down, we were here for like three days and flew out to Boston to go to PAX East. Yes! So we were here for maybe like, you know, just a couple of days, got a couple things like built and set up, like obviously like a, a place to sleep there, and then it was just nothing but boxes and garbage and stuff that hadn't been unpacked yet, just sort of all over the place. Was that your uh, first PAX East? That was my first PAX East, yeah, but I've been to all, like I've been to Prime like maybe five times now or something like that. It's, I always go to Prime, but I never make it to East because it's always much farther away and usually a little bit more expensive for me to go. But this time I was like, you know what? I'm, I've never been, so I have to try it at least once. You know, go to Boston, and Boston was a really cool city to get to it go is. to. Before I got uh, off track talking about PAX East, you uh -huh. were able to join us and you were able to be part of our programming. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that experience? Getting to do all the stuff on stage with Polaris at PAX East for the first time was really, really cool. Really intimidating. It's always intimidating doing anything that involves like lots of cameras pointed at you. Like, like right now, <laughs> it's always very intimidating. Uh, what was your favorite part about the PAX event? Actually getting to do the stuff with Polaris was probably oh. my favorite part. I always, I always like getting to be involved with things. That was the one thing I didn't like when I was um, a little bit smaller and kind of by the wayside. Boop, boop, beep, boop. Ah. Say goodbye to the apartment. <laughs> I'm kind of a little bummed we're leaving the apartment so, so dismayed such, in such a mess. But we honestly did not have time to, to put anything together before we had to leave, so... You know, I don't think it really matters. I mean, I have Twix, so I think we're gonna be okay. There we go. Back in good old Denver. Again. For what's gonna be the 50th time this week. On our way to PAX East this time. The first time I've ever been. This should be a fun one. It's gonna be a little bit different this time.
do you have a particular game you're looking forward to that you maybe saw? Let me see. Um, Overwatch particularly is one. I'm playing the beta right now. I'm getting a little really into Overwatch. So <laughs> maybe there are a couple of smaller games I'm also looking forward to. Like uh, it's not just that one game that everybody is interested in that I'm interested in. I like a lot of things from like um, like Pyre from Supergiant. I actually thought that was a really, really cool game. But like the Indie Mega Booth is one of my favorite places because yeah. they always go with the more cool artistic style of things. So you do a lot of videos with Gmod as we yeah, talked lots about. Yeah, um, Gmod stuff. Is there any particular, like you said that kind of evolved from Minecraft. A little bit, yeah. Is it just the, the way you can customize it? What, dr what draws you to that game particularly? Well, it, it's a bit, it's, it's mainly, I guess you could say, the fact that you can customize it and do lots of cool, fun things with it, you know, modify it, kind of like you can Minecraft, obviously. Um, the problem with Minecraft is there's only so much you can really do, whereas with Gary's mod, the whole game, excuse me, the whole game's purpose is to be a mod. That's why it's in the name, because, well, Gmod is just a mod of the Source Engine and whatnot, where you can do whatever you want, so the possibilities are a little bit more limitless than in with Minecraft, where you can just, you know, build lots of buildings and maps and stuff like that, so after we hit our limits with Minecraft for the most part, and this is like maybe four channels in for me because I started quite a few back in the day and like this one is the, the most recent and longest stayed with one that I never really did any Minecraft stuff on. It just sort of, like I said, we hit our limit on that and then thought, hey, Gmod's actually really fun because there have been plenty of times where you need to film like a machinima or something like that in it, like um, just a cinematic video and we would use Gmod because you can do a lot with it and it looks really nice. And then um, a lot of the times we would find that just playing around, screwing with each other behind the scenes of making those videos, like just messing with things, like shooting rockets off in between shots and stuff like that, we found out that's really dang funny, <laughs> really entertaining for everybody involved. And we thought, all right, well, let's give this a try. Let's just do like some sandbox videos where we just do whatever we want. And people like sort of took on it. They're like, yeah, that's actually really, really cool. That's hilarious, the stupid hijinks we get into, whether it be blowing each other up or, you know, racing go-karts around a map or something like that. It's a lot more limitless, in my opinion, than Minecraft, or my experience with Minecraft, anyway. So often in, in Gmod, you, you take on a particular avatar, yes. which is a pony. The pony, Can yes. you talk a little bit about <laughs> how, the, how that pony came about? The ponies kind of stemmed because we used to watch the actual show. When we first found the, uh, the models in Gmod, we thought they were absolutely hilarious, just because when you bring them into the 3D world, they look a little bit more terrifying. They do. So they're really scary looking. I mean, they're, they're still cute and all, you know, little ponies and stuff, but they're, they're kind of, they're a little bit creepier now that they're brought into the 3D world. So we thought, well, we could use these, and then, you know, it, it really works as a branding thing, I Oop. guess, for us, so that people recognize the ponies in Gmod a lot, and that's sort of something we've always gone with. So now we're stuck with them. So Mad Libs. <laughs> Mad Libs, yes. Those get a little uh, out of control. A little bit. Yeah. When, after I heard about it, I was like, oh yeah, Mad Libs, I forgot. Those are hilarious. They let's, are. <laughs> let's give that a try. And now we don't, we don't do them very often. We like to do them um, when they coincide with a holiday, usually, like uh, Thanksgiving and oh, Christmas. There was a, there was a Christmas like one. There was, yeah, I, think, I remember we did a Christmas one that had like beach balls and palm trees and stuff like that, I think. All right, so I'm not going to tell you what the title of this is, but all we know is that they're Christmas related. Oh, yeah, okay? for sure. Okay. All right. All right, so are you ready to go? I'm about as ready as I'm ever gonna be. <laughs> I need an adjective. Snowy. I need an adjective. Poopy, I guess. <laughs> that works. Poopy. <laughs> Room in the house. Bathroom. Plural noun. Jean shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Another plural noun. Another plural noun. Spatulas. Noun. Noun. Let's see here. Penguin. We all like the penguins, you hear? Noun. Nutsack. <laughs> it's funny because wieners. Another noun? Another noun. Let's see here. Uh, Archer. Adjective. Fat. Fat. Noun. Santa hat. A number. 69. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's pretty much the only choice you have every time Plur that one comes up. Plural noun? Used panties. Noun? Uh, doghouse. I love this diversity. <laughs> I want to give you all over the place, okay? A color. Oh, chartreuse. Fucking shit, I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> Another color. Green, we'll go with green. Something alive. I swear to God, if you make a dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know that face. Anal germs. Anal 
germs. Uh, again, that's that's the only appropriate Christmas holiday family themed thing I could think of. Person in room. Me. <laughs> Person in room. Fuck! I'm only I'm the <laughs> only one in here. If there's no one in the room, would the refrigerator count? Yes, put refrigerator. That works. Are you ready? Oh, God. I guess I'm ready. Uh, okay, shoot. Go ahead. Execute us all with this horrible Mad Lib page. All right. Your story is called Selecting a Tree. Oh, fuck. No Christmas season can be really snowy unless you have an poopy tree <laughs> in your... <laughs> and poopy tree in your bathroom. <laughs> if you live in a city, you will see many vacant jean shorts. <laughs> jean shorts filled with hundreds of spatulas for sale. <laughs> if you live in the country, you can get your own penguin right out of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> These are so stupid. Why are they so fun? Go out with a nutsack <laughs> and archer. <laughs> <laughs> and when you and when you see a fat tree you like, you can dig it up and plant it in a Santa hat. <laughs> okay. Then you can use it for 69 years. <laughs> okay, not quite, but that works. <laughs> to make sure your tree is fresh, shake the branches and see if the used panties fall off into the doghouse. <laughs> and make Damn. sure the tree is very chartreuse. Chartreuse. Shart Shart Chartreuse. Yeah, gotta make sure that our Christmas tree is chartreuse. That's the most important step. Nothing looks worse than a green tree. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow these directions, and you can have a perfectly beautiful anal germs in your front room for weeks. Oh my god, for the love of Christ. Remember, poems and Mad Libs are made by fools like me, but only a refrigerator can make a tree. What? <laughs> Okay, well, that one was almost too accurate for comfort, you know? That one just made, that that one just made more sense. Yeah! So, Breezy, your Mad Libs is LOL Memes. Is it really? LOL Memes. I fucking love life and everything it entails. Alrighty except, then, are you, are you people ready? dying. I don't oh. like the people dying part, or the rape, or the crime, or the... I don't like life. Why'd you have to say that? All right, absolutely perfect. This is gonna be, oh, this is gonna suck. All right, let's take a look here. One of the shardy ways to get to know someone is to take a look at which internet memes she shares with you. From the fuck shitty days of the dancing baby, nothing clues you into someone's personality like a nun's vagina. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Okay, okay. <laughs> Right, compose yourself, Breezy. Compose yourself. Okay. Some people really like cats. Whether it's seeing Yan Cat vacuuming through the air or Keyboard Cat playing the god's penis or Lol Cats asking, I can has semen? I can't deal with your fucking shit anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this shit. I have to leave. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move by myself. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Okay. Other animals have achieved popularity as memes, such as the dramatic pony or the animated adventures of Breezy the unicorn. Some people I'm enjoy. I'm not a unic. I'm not a unicorn. You don't you don't you interrupt me. Do I look me? like a fucking don't do you like interrupt? Don't you interrupt me. Some people enjoy silly songs like Chocolate Kanye's butthole or <laughs> or or. <laughs> Peanut butter exhaust pipe time. <laughs> Why did you have to fucking do this? Oh my god. Stop! I can't do this. Knock it off. You got a fucking chocolate gun in his butt hole. Others prefer even nerdier references from lumpy games, such as the phrase, all your horse teats are belong to us. <laughs> and then there are the videos that you might wish you'd never received, like two prostates, one swollen ball. Much like... <laughs> much like Double Rainbow Guy, all you can ask is, what does it douching? <laughs> well, uh... I'd say Breezy's dirty, fucked up mind definitely paid off for this Mad Lib. Uh, two prostates, one swollen ball! 
Yeah, we've all seen that video before. You know it. You know we've seen that fucked up piece of monstrosity. I can't stop laughing. No, it does not. No, it does. Get the hell Smurches. away from me. Oh my Smurches. god. I haven't directed people over to your channel yet either. You know that, right? Oh wow, I'm flying. If anybody wants to go see the one that I did that turned out a lot more tame and boring because it didn't include Kanye's chocolate butthole and shit like that, <laughs> just waltz on over to Breezy's channel if you haven't seen it already. And until until the uh, the net. Oh. Nope. Ah, <sighs> we're never gonna be good, are we? Along with the Mad Libs, I, you've also done a roast format, I believe. Yeah, we did that I think one time successfully. We tried doing it a second time, and then we realized that. Um, it doesn't really work all that well trying to do it multiple times because you've already come up with all the things you can. So we did it one time specifically, and it turned out really, really hilarious. But yeah, that was a that was a fun time. A lot of uh, a lot of feelings were hurt that day, especially oh, no. mine. Oh. Especially mine. It's always mine. <laughs> and our good friend Asmo, who's always the butt end of every joke. It seems <laughs> it's the running joke that he it, like he is, he makes himself the joke. So that's kind of the running joke with him is we always pretend that we, we hate Asmo and stuff like that, even though he's like our favorite person ever. But we're always like, oh no, we just hate Asmo. We don't hate everybody else. It's just him. It's so just him. He's that one guy that the joke always kind of revolved around near the ending. So Aww. that was kind of nice in that video though. He got the last yeah. laugh. He got that, you know, that winning roast joke. So a little bit of redemption there in that video. So he's a, uh, he, his legend will continue, so to speak, after that. This is Frankie McDonald, my own TV station, live from Gmon. Earthquake warning for California. Hide your kids, cause your windows. All right, so uh, let's get Asmo back down here on the stage. Asmo, hey, everybody! Back. Yay, Asmo! Asmo! <laughs> 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 Basically today, uh, what we're doing is we're going to be doing the Gary's Mod Roast. And uh, we got four friends here. We're, uh, we're going to have one person on the chair. And each of us are going to come up and take a jab at him. We're going we're gonna to say something, try to make them hurt their, hurt their feelings. And uh, if someone ends up committing suicide by the end of the night, uh, they're the winner. So, all right, yeah. So uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to figure out who goes first. Who goes first? I think, uh, I think we should have uh, Robin go first because he's already sitting down. He's sitting down first right there. All right. <clears throat> what do you have to say? Robin? Yes. Your mother was a whore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Choose your words carefully, Breezy. Choose them very carefully. Robin, we've known each other for quite a long time. Robin, we've known each other for quite a long time. Throughout all the hardship we've been through, I feel like... Rebecca cannot move. I feel like the fact that you are... Move. Go on, go on, continue. I just wanted to... Move. <laughs> I, 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 I wrote a poem move. for you. Move, <laughs> I wanted to read to you a poem called <laughs> Things That Make Robin Awful. Between his blue hair or his frightening despair, there's always one thing that you'll never care about. And that's Robin. <laughs> Garrick, you smell like tacos. I feel like that's more of a compliment. Ow. No, that's ow. That's just ow. Tacos are just, it was like, is it beef tacos? Oh yeah. Oh, ow. 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 All right, up next is Asmo. I really got nothing to say here. Thanks, Mr. Yeah. Skeletor. Just... Oh, oh. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom quick, hold on. Frisky, you claim to hate furries, yet you call yourself a frisky hyena. Thank you guys for coming out to the uh, 21st annual uh, 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 of uh, Gmod roast. Uh, to, to, uh, tune in next week to see bar, uh, to to see to see uh, 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 um, uh, Sarah Palin uh, de decorate her crutch with uh, different four types of colored copper. We'll see you next time. So there are obviously a lot of. I mean, Gmod's very free-flowing in general, but right. there are certain game modes, and you guys like to participate 
in a variety of them. But what, right. what's your particular favorite when it comes down to that? Like all of all of these game modes, they're basically add-ons created by some guy that decided like this would be a fun game mode to try out. And then they would create it, and then you'd you know go download it and use it, kind of like Minecraft add-ons, like Hunger Games and stuff like that. Um, but Prop Hunt is where like there's like maybe two or three people that have to hunt for this massive group of people that um, are hidden as props from the game. It's always funny to frustrate people people in prop hunt. That's why it's one of my favorites for certain. I'm still just kind of sitting here. You guys pass me like 30 times. I should shut up. Oh yeah, you should shut the hell up. <laughs> I would I would recommend it. <laughs> Uh-oh. I would uh -oh. recommend keeping your flappy lips sealed. Why in Christ do I only get 30 frames when my computer is gone? <laughs> You got me. You, you picked me up. You picked me up. Oh, shut up. You can't pick up people that are props. <laughs> Damn it. What, what yeah, is this? Where are you? Ah. <laughs> where are you? are spectating? Oh, try yeah, it's, just, it's just me. <laughs> I just picked up Combine's balls. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Are you downstairs or upstairs? He said up on the balcony. I'm going to assume he's up on the chair. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, yeah, kids, you, you have an exquisite spot. Damn I'm it. <laughs> Can't pick up the plants. That's hard to tell. <laughs> this is bad. Where are you, Garrick? Uh, you'll never find me. Give him a riddle. Give him a riddle, Garrick. I don't accept any charity. We need, we need I wasn't offering. I wasn't. No, I wasn't offering any money. I was like. Just they, they, could have they did not get it. <laughs> I give you the fucking answer. Oh, you're an ATM? No. He's no. a what? He's a what? No, I'm an ATM. You're I'm an ATM. ATM. What? No. A fucking ATM? What There's the, nothing but soda what machines kind of here. What? Where did you I get ATM don't. out of this conversation at all? Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Christ. How do you? What can I connect charity with? Charity. Cherry. Charity. Oh, wow. Cher that was that was embarrassing. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh God. Oh god. Oh god. What? What? Where are you, Garrick? Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> you know what? I'm so dead anyway. This is. <laughs> Damn it. Here's like, the oh. free, fella. Oh. Relax. Then take no. a seat. Because no. this is where your feet oh are both feet. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Just where? stay away. Just stay away from the chairs. Just stay away from the what? chairs. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Don't worry. What? Don't worry. What? This oh, is bullshit. Oh. Okay, he just. Okay, you were so fucking close to me. God damn it! I, I have. I have time to go hide somewhere. You else. had him. You fucking had him. Oh, you, had him. You, had you had him. him. you had him. You had him. You had him. You had him. Adam, Steve. With the power of voodoo. <laughs> I picked up all the chairs. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, you're right on him. Left. You're, ne you're never gonna find me now. I, I've already. I've already. Put like, you escaped. in for a demotion. I've escaped the vicinity. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's it. I smell a liar! Oh! What the fuck was that? What the? Oh. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. That's it. I'm Who done. Who dies in prop hunt? <laughs> so you also do a lot of death run, if I'm if I'm correct. Yes, we do like um, death run too. The seagull of doom. Talk about that a little bit if you can. I, <laughs> the seagull of doom. I almost forgot about that thing. <laughs> we, we like it it's when there's... It's just so random. It's always fun when there's a trap in Death Run that you can't quite... Because obviously if you've never played that particular run before, you don't know how any of the traps work, so you have to try things. But when you pop up to something or come up to something like a seagull, you got to wonder. So they're all like, all right, we know it does something really nefarious, but we're not sure who to send in. Like, who are we going to make go into... Uh, test out the seagull trap. <laughs> yeah, you really had to just, somebody had to take one for the team with that one. Especially if you have someone that's really good at um, not being faked out or psyched out. Um, you just you just gotta do it. It's like playing chess. Like, all right, who's who's the worst at jumping around on things in Gmod? You are, you need to, you gotta go. It's your turn. You have to be pawned out for the trap. Like, oh sweet, it explodes. <laughs> a really simple thing that uh, packs quite a punch. Right here is my ceiling of tentacle doom. What if you step inside of Tentacle Doom, you <laughs> will <pe> you <laughs> perish. <laughs> step uh, into Tentacles of Doom. Just, just crawl under the can I can I crawl under the tentacles? Yeah. Yes, I will let you crawl under the tentacles. No, you won't. You're such a liar. Psych! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, we can just hop. I up. call this the donut of doom. Oh my god. No, I'll make I'll it through the center no. of you can my do it, donut. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm not that easy. Not in the donut of doom. Uh -huh. you get in bed with. It is joining. Yay. <laughs> It's a split decision. <laughs> it's a 7 10 split. Oh. <laughs> it just. The Donut of Doom. I call this one the Floor of Doom. Is it a psych out one? I think no, it puts. No, 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 no. Oh. Is, is it. Was there nothing there? Alright, I call this one the Glass Floor of Doom. I think it's a red light <laughs> green. <laughs> what just happened? You ran on red light. You had to stop. Oh, oh! You've mastered the donut of doom, but can you master the floor of doom? I don't <laughs> think the floor. <laughs> oh, no! I don't think what the floor do do? does. Oh. oh, they're a fan. Oh, the fans that's so why. That makes you sense. have mastered the the floor of doom. Now can you master the red light green light of doom? Oh my god, the red light green light's bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. So it is actually red light, green light. That's actually cool. That's cool. Yellow light, yellow light. Oh, there you go, Kyle. <laughs> oh, yes, he made it. Okay. Fine, Kyle. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was my glass act. <laughs> Your donut of doom is no match for me. Your <laughs> floor of doom may have me. Me, what? Did you die already? <laughs> did you he not notice that? <laughs> du, 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 du. Wait, I need, I need a, uh, I need rock and roll mouth music. Can somebody do rock and roll mouth music for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta keep going. You gotta like. How'd that work out for you, huh? I don't know how to get past this one, so I don't, I can't. All right, Robin, I sacrifice you because I did no, it. No, you time. can't sacrifice me. You fucking go. Zach, Kyle's getting. <laughs> Kyle's. I forgot how to get past that trap. The, the key is not to walk on the glass. L A M O. L M A O, actually. L Guys, look, there's. What is that? Is that a freaking bird? What is that? It's a seagull. I'm actually kind of interested to see what that's going to do. Oh, I'm going to save it. I Saving the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not going near that thing. That thing's <laughs> fucked. It's like that, that bunny deadly. from uh, Monty Python of the Holy Grail. So your group of friends seems to often try to kill each other quite, <laughs> quite frequently. All the time. <laughs> whether it's the death run or whether it's just trying to get ahead of people while everything collapses around you or you're pirates. <laughs> I did see there were pirates at one point. Yeah, there are pirates. I like the pirate ship game though. That one's fun. <laughs> Full speed ahead. Yes! Oh, what? Oh, why I my, the balls keep bouncing off the boat? There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking thank you. There, son of a bitch. Eat my asshole. I'll get you. I'll get you, you wee little shit face. Fucking blow up their ship, laddie. What do you think I'm trying to do? It's very difficult. Grab the fuck! They're missing an entire side of their ship right now. <laughs> How are you not going down? You just died. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't move. The movement is so uh. restricted. Oh, oh, oh no. shit! Uh, <laughs> oh shit, Kyle's in the water. Kyle's in the fucking water! Oh, uh. Kevin, bitches! Party! Yeah, where's the party at? Where's the party at? Where's the party at? Where are you? Where are you, you little bastard? Where the hell do you go? Ow! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> that was it. God! <laughs> what? What? Oh. Get their boat! Get their boat! Keep fuck off! Oh, I'm sorry, I had to kill you. Why? I don't know. Yeah, they're going down. They're sinking. Yes. Suck it. Oh. Eat my heavy lead balls. No, take them down with us. Take them down with us. Take We're not down. going down, bitch. Yes. No. That ship is going to sink deeper than frisky self-esteem. Oh, wait, shit. Why are you on our boat? Yeah. Yo, yeah. uh, what? Yeah, what? What? <laughs> oh, shit. Ah! Ah! Bro, now this is my. I'm commandeering. I'm still alive. Yeah, well, we're here now, bitch. Go fuck yourself. Ah! <laughs> this is my boat. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's it. I'm going up with a powder keg. That oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boat now, bitches. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> you shot me. Oh shit, son. <laughs> oh, Brazy! 
What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Me neither. <laughs> I kept getting stuck too. Ram him. <laughs> Ram him. Well, we must take him down. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> take oh, him <laughs> oh jeez! Okay, hi. Back up for another ram. What are you doing? Ah! Hey, bud, what's going on there, lad? Oh shit! Oh shit, lad! Shit! 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 <laughs> Full speed ahead. Uh, I'm gonna splooge. <laughs> uh -oh. You have a raging clue. Uh, oh, oh shit! Oh no! 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 Oh, no! no! <laughs> what you fucking do? <laughs> no! No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no! <laughs> yes! Yes! Their arrogance will be their downfall, Breezy. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm colorblind, I can't tell. Oh my god, they're very different clothes! Do you have any, uh, maybe newer formats that you're planning for the future, or... Well, Anything you hope to explore that maybe you haven't had a chance to? We're always we're always on the lookout for something new and interesting that people kind of bring to the table. Um, for instance, like I, like I mentioned earlier, the whole "Who's Your Daddy" thing. Yes. Uh, like, because uh, a lot of people have um, been doing. Like, some guy ported it over to Minecraft from the game too. So a lot of the Minecrafters have been doing that recently. And we thought, well, in Gmod, <laughs> we can make things a lot sillier. So maybe we're, we're trying to find some people that can help us sort of put together a game mode, if you will, of it. Like I said, we're always on the lookout for new stuff. We just haven't found the next really big thing yet, but we're hoping to do something with Who's Your Daddy to sort of make it our own. Because we, we tend to take a game mode and make it our own. Like we tried to do, like sort of make up a Who's Your Daddy situation um, with some characters a few days ago and it didn't quite work out because we sort of, everything devolves into explosions and us just trying to kill each other for the most part. That's why people sort of, in, like they'll come and see like, oh, what are they doing? They're doing Who's Your Daddy? And then by the end, all of us are dead. Um, and nothing actually got accomplished whatsoever in our endeavors, which kind of sucks, but that's what we do. And that's a recess. Sykron, thank you so much for sitting down with us and sharing some fantastic stories. Tell people where they can find you outside of class. Uh, you can find my uh, my Twitter and Instagram at ZykronVA and my YouTube channel at Mr. Zykron, X-Y-C-R-O-N. And thank you for having me. It's oh, actually no. been a very fun time. I'm Yay. getting less intimidated by setups like this. So hopefully I'll be able to do them without blinking in the future. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Be sure to catch more of our Polaris Plus shows. And until next time, we'll catch you on the playground. Bye.